Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Knasty3890 here with another MLB 16 The Show video. Today we have new packs and new uh, flashbacks in the game. We got a flash, there's a couple good flashbacks. Um, first off, there's a flashback, Dustin Pedroia, 1997 from 2008, his MVP year. 99 contact first left, 76 contact first right. Wish that was higher. Okay power, really good fielding. Um, pretty good card, not an amazing card in my opinion. Let's see what he's going for on the auction house. It's... That's crazy. That's abs that's that's stupid. I'd rather have Rod Carew, and I'm a huge Pedroia fan. I'd rather have Rod Carew on my team. But hey, if I pull him, I will sell him. Good to know. Another new card is a flashback. Uh, not a flashback. It's a legend. It's a Goose Gossage. Here we go. Reliever should have good stamina. Huh? 34. He used to always get two or three innings saves or appearances. Got a fastball, uh, sweeping. I know it's a slow curve or sweeping curve. Change up. Those are his three pitch arsenal. Pretty good stats all the way around. 92 overall. Not a bad reliever. He's probably going to be overpriced on the market. Yeah, he's 60,000. I mean, I would, unless you're a huge Gossage fan, you're a huge Yankee fan, probably lay, wait for him this price to go down. These cards just dropped today. Other cards include an 88 Andrew McCutcheon. And a 83 Madison Bumgarner and a 70 Michael Brantley. The McCutcheon is a pretty good card. Um, we can take a look at his card real quick. We can look at Bumgarner once we're going by him. It's an 83. It's a rookie. Ah, uh, he looks so weird in his picture. He looks so young and innocent. And then now we all know he just chugs 10 beers at once. Um, not an amazing card. I, again, he might have um, a hidden challenge with his card. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone's seen that yet. If you have the card and you do realize he has a hidden challenge, let me know. Um, maybe that unlocks a playoff version of Bumgarner. We don't know at this time. Uh, now let's go take a look at the... Oh, we went by it. The Pirates, we got the 88 uh, McCutcheon. I believe that's his rookie year, 2009. Yeah, he's 22. Again, not an amazing card, but maybe unlock something else. He's probably going for a good 20, 30K, if I had to guess. Oh, wow. 75 by now, 35 sell now. So still, these cards are really expensive. There are also new packs in the game. We have, uh, they're called Developer's Choice Packs. Now, they contain six cards, three nominated by the devs, an increased chance of a gold or a diamond. Um, there are 3,000 stubs each. There's 10 of them. Quick math, 30,000 stubs. Uh, so we're going to get into it. Hope to pull at least a gold. <laughs> Um, we'll see. Wish me luck, boys. And let me know in the comments down below what have you guys got if you've opened these packs. Um, and if you do want me to do more pack openings like this in the future, let me know by hitting the like button. The more likes I see, the more I know you guys will want me to do packs like this. We start off with a silver Jimmy Rollins beforehand. He went for nothing. If he's going to be in these packs, he's going to be dirt cheap. Um, I do need Dodgers players. I'm getting closer and closer to that Adrian Beltre. Also, what do you guys think of uh, D. Gordon got suspended 80 games for uh, PEDs? Napoli against Kenta Manita. Um, uh, I mean, I'm not... You never... like. I mean, he's a smaller guy. You don't think he's like a huge muscular guy that you always associate PEDs with. But I'm never shocked when a guy gets busted for PEDs. Um... That's a flashback. That's a bum garner. No, Michael Brantley, the one we didn't look at. We got a flashback. We got a Brantley. I have no idea what he goes for. We didn't check him. I thought that was a bum garner. I don't know why. I'm pumped. We got a flashback. Uh, we'll go check what his price is after the pack opening, but that is dope, guys. Let's get a like for that. Um, but uh, yeah, D Gordon, what was I going to say? Uh, about guys getting uh, uh, popped for PEDs. I'm never shocked when it happens. Um, there's so much on the line for these players, so much money they can make. Uh, now, he's going to be out for 80 games. He's going to miss all that money, and I believe he's not eligible for the playoffs. We get a Jay Bruce in this pack, and another Kenta Manita. He's going to be dirt cheap. Uh, but So, I would say um, about D. Gordon that, like, yeah, I'm not, I would never expect him to take steroids, but I'm not shocked when he got busted. I think most players do something, and he just happened to get caught. So, it is what it is. And Chase Utley, there's a Dodger. We got a Frias as well, another Dodger. I'm really curious what that Brantley goes for. I hope he, he can pay for these packs. Still without a gold, only a couple of silvers. We got an Omar Fonte, Kurt Suzuki. Two packs left. Come on, baby, come on. We got Rojas Sanchez. We got a silver. We got a Justin Verlander. Okay. And a Hazer Baker. Last pack. Come on, another flashback. 
We got, I thought that was, I don't know that Baez at the top right looked a little weird. We got a silver. We got a David Wright. Okay. Matt Garza. All right. So let's go take a look real quick what Brantley goes for. If he goes for 10K, I'd be happy. I'm going to say probably less than that, but we never know. We don't know till we look. All right. Here we go. Michael Brantley. How is this? 27 power right, 16 barrel. I know when he came up, he wasn't like a huge name. He's gotten really good. He's really gotten uh, a lot better since he's been called up. But 10K. Uh, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Balls busted.